last module we said language is central part of the process of identity making that takes place in adolescence. So, we have to closely look at adolescent language. Society has ideas and expectations about gender. Every culture has this. These ideas and expectations are called gender ideology. Similarly, society has ideas and expectations about adolescence, how they want to look, adolescent people, how would they behave in a culturally, socially acceptable way. This is called adolescent ideology. If we consider both ideologies together, gender ideology, adolescent ideology, both are expectations of the society. So, if we study them together, we have double opportunity to understand relationship between language and gender and to understand the issues which are created by different conceptions of gender and the main issues are power issues and second thing is essentialism. Now, essentialism, this is a new term here. Again, it has come from sociology and philosophy and uh, uh, I have got its definition from a philosopher of science Karl Popper. I have simplified it for you. Essentialism is from essence. In essence means reality of something. Kisi cheez ki hakikat. Truth. From it we have got this term essentialism. Essentialism means that culture gives true definition of gender. It is not biology that defines gender. Biology defines sex. We are male or female. But when we come to gender, gender is purely cultural. Cultural description, who will be a male, who will be a female, this description is called essentialism. Researchers in language and gender think that life stages are defined by culture, not biology. As we differentiate between gender and sex, similarly, here they draw a line between a physical life stage and a cultural life stage. They say childhood, adolescence, adulthood, they are physical stages okay and up to this point biology helps us but beyond that they are cultural cultural uh, features they are cultural constructs so here biology doesn't help but how we behave what are cultural expectations about adolescence so that we may understand what are cultural definitions of adolescence and these life stages. So, understand how culture requires us to behave in childhood, in adolescence or in adulthood, this is the domain of culture. Our cultural expectation in adolescence, this is our focus. Now, we leave for the moment childhood and adulthood, we focus on adolescence. Our cultural expectation in adolescence is that we are prepared to join some work or profession. This is one cultural aspect, expectation, sorry. Adolescence must contribute to economy of the country. 
बिकॉज दे आर फ्यूचर वर्क फोर्स ऑफ द नेशन तो वन एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द कल्चर इज दैट दे शुड बी यूजफुल फॉर द इकोनॉमिक वेल बींग ऑफ देयर नेशन आर कंट्री दे शुड प्रिपेयर दैम सेल्स फॉर दैट दिस इज वन एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड दिस एक्सपेक्टेशन कम फ्रॉम सोसाइटी फ्रॉम कल्चर इट डजेंट कम फ्रॉम बायोलॉजी दैट्स वाई वी हैव सेपरेटेड बायोलॉजिकल एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ दीज स्टेजेज एंड कल्चरल एक्सपेक्टेशन तो वन कल्चरल एक्सपेक्टेशन इज प्रिपेयरनेस फॉर प्रोफेशनल लाइफ ड्यूरिंग एडालसेंस for this economic and adult life expectation uh, preparation we can't leave adolescents like natural plants no we have to groom them somewhere we send them to institution which are established by the society for their preparedness professional preparedness and for life preparedness adult roles prepared in institutions adolescents learn hierarchies of gender race ethnicity their language group they are sindhi balochi french japanese whatever they are and class upper class social class middle class so when they are in institutions during adolescence first exposure is to all these types of identities and together all these identities are called adolescent culture so they learn adolescent culture first the adolescents are exposed to discourses second how they are exposed to these identities they can't see these identities it is language it is discourse that make these identities visible so they are exposed to discourses this is plural this is not singular and it means when we use it in plural it means conventional ways of talking and thinking here this time when we are using it plural we are not saying this is talk this is communication this is conversation no we are linking it with thinking with ideology so there is something different here these discourses which are conventional and develop are ideologies ideas which we take as truth we call them ideology these ideas may be about gender these ideas may be about race these ideas may be about profession anything these ideas which we acquire through discourses they develop our ideology our set of ideas set of beliefs one thing power works through these discourses okay ideology becomes power so discourses they develop ideologies ideologies they develop power who said this foucault michael foucault french philosopher for example such kind of ideologies are developed and if you look closely at these statements you would find the underlying ideology and the underlying concept of power males are powerful and males are important they play important roles in life the white are superior to the black the black are inferior difference hierarchy higher and lower powerful and powerless elite class adults are refined and rational working class are not refined rough and tough and they are irrational they can't think logically adolescents and women are irrational but and emotional and changeable and trivial unimportant and these are the conceptions 
but adults they are stable they are mature they are rational so behind these statements you see they are discourses these discourses when are accepted unquestionably they become our ideologies and these ideologies in fact what they promote they are promoting difference and where there is difference there is power these are the views of foucault he is here he says that power is not possessed power is exercised and how we exercise it we exercise it when we communicate through discourses so this is written in this short note uh, that is given in front of his picture you can read it so we conclude that adolescence and gender are interlinked understanding of one needs understanding of the other if we want to understand adolescence we need to understand gender and vice versa adolescence is not just a physical stage of life it is a cultural stage of life it is the stage where we construct our identity we pass through a dynamic process of construction of our self of our identity so this is not a passive stage or abstract stage through which we pass it is a dynamic process that is called adolescence 